Yo, what's it going, everyone? Saints Fan here, and welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. As always, if you do have an outfit you want to suggest for next week's episode, all you have to do is leave it in the comment section, or you can tweet me a picture of the outfit with all the items on Twitter. Also, I'm doing another weekly giveaway on my Twitter, so you should probably go follow me over there. But real quick before we hop into the outfits, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Opinion Outpost. Now, a lot of you guys probably know what this site is. It's a pretty awesome website where you go and take surveys to get money, basically. And you can use that money to get shark cards. It's super simple. All you do is give your opinions on various things that you care about. And then in the end, you can get Amazon gift cards, which you can convert to shark cards for GTA. And since there's a new DLC coming out, you're definitely going to need money for it. But if you do want to check it out, you can go into the description and click the link to start taking the surveys. Anyway, hopping into this week's outfits. The first one we have from James is the GK Sierra Operative. It is obviously a military outfit, and I know a lot of people don't like them, but a lot of people do like them, so I'm going to continue posting them. And this one is a nice change of pace from all the other ones we've done in the past. This one is nice and simple. It doesn't have much black in it, and it doesn't include a scarf, a backpack, the armor. It doesn't include all those other accessories. It's just bare bones as is, as you can see with the green stealth jacket, the desert armor, the forest combat boots, the flight boots, the pilot headset, the blue gun glasses, and the black tactical gloves. Really easy and looks great. Next up, what we have is from the Walking Dead game, and it is Kenny. Now, I will say I have not played the game, but as you're going to see the picture from the game, it looks really similar, surprisingly. Like, if you had an older character, this would go really well with it. But to make this one, put the Eris t-shirt on with the brown track jacket. For the bottom, go with gray irregular jeans, and then black work boots, and then for the head or the accessories, shaggy curls, the coffee broker snapback, and the handlebar facial hair. The hair is probably the only part that's a little off. If you wanted to make it a little bit grayish, I guess maybe that would fit a little bit more with it. But I like the way this one came out and it does resemble the guy from the game. So if you would like the game, then you might want to use this in GTA Online. The third outfit we have is called the Getaway from Dark Avenger. To make this one pretty simple and again, ash tucked shirt with the hunter leather fur jacket. For the bottom, black cargo pants and scruffy boots and then the accessories Go with the clown plastic face, the gold striped tie, and black tactical gloves. It's a different outfit from what we've seen, you know, recently. It's got a good color scheme to it as well, like with the tie sort of matching the leather jacket and then the ash tuck shirt. If you plan on doing any heists, you know, because the anniversary was, I think, yesterday. Or if you just want to, you know, have some fun in free mode, you know, it's a, a pretty awesome one to use. The fourth outfit is called the Survivor. And yes, I know the name might be a little bit generic, but this one... This one's pretty cool. You know, it's another sort of, I guess, division themed outfit. To make this one, put the Illusion t-shirt with the green overcoat. For the bottom, the worn light blue regular fit jeans and then scruffy boots. And then the accessories go with the gas mask. You can choose either one. I'll actually put a picture on the screen of what like the regular gas mask looks like with this outfit. Also go with the black winter hat, the black fingerless gloves, and the standard body armor. Again, it's just a different take on some of the survivor outfits we've done in the past. So if you want to change it up, there you go. Now this fifth one, this one, you know, I will say it's not for everyone, but it is pretty damn funny, especially if you use the car that is suggested. And as you can see from the title, it is the Sex Offender, I guess, and I don't know, there could probably be a better name for that, by Moho. Super simple to make, put the black trench coat with nothing underneath it. For the bottom, the white sports shorts, and then the black sandals, I think that one looks the best with all of this. And then for the accessories, go with the mustache, the professional glasses, any one, doesn't really matter which one. And like I said, to top this all off, the white burrito van is sort of a, a must <laughs> with this outfit. And then finally, the sixth outfit from Broclaw. This is like the guy version of Deadpool. In my opinion, it doesn't look as good as the female outfit that I did last week or two weeks ago, but it still looks pretty cool. At least the mask part, you can probably change the, the bottom, you know, however you like it. But at least to start... Go with the black heavy vest through the glitch to get the red leather jacket with it. And then for the bottom, black boots, crimson regular fit jeans. For the accessories, go with the zombie contacts, the skull in scarlet face paint, the red loose balaclava, the black leather gloves, and the black scarf. Again, the head part is the main part that looks the best. You can switch up the jacket if you want to or, you know, whatever else you decide. But if you were looking for a male version of the Deadpool outfit, then, you know, this is the best you're going to do. In addition to all those, I do have two pretty damn awesome female outfits. The first one is Storm. 
And this one looks pretty badass for a female character, and it's not, like, overly militaristic. And then the other female outfit we have is this one. I don't think there's a name for it, but it definitely looks pretty cool. The colors match. I like the rebreather on. It looks nice. And you can see all of the, the items on the screen now. But thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for these every single Friday. Again, go follow me on Twitter if you do want to enter that giveaway. But as always, see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace.